Hey, boss. Got another one for you. Andreo? You seen this latest article doing the rounds today? Three weeks later and the press are still going with narrative of the rivalry at Connorsport. Still! They just need an angle for Silverstone. Paid no attention. But they're right, aren't they? It's not like Kali and Aiden are suddenly treating each other like teammates. They just need time. It took me a while to warn to Aiden back in the day. <sighs> well, that's because you were a grumpy old man. <laughs> yeah. Well, something's never changed, I guess. Ha! <laughs> now you're just grumpier and older. I'll leave you to it. Ciao. Bye. Okay, we'll have a word. He's been so late into these corners, I have no space out here. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to him, Kelly. This is still about Baku, isn't it? Front is 2.2 seconds. You up a place.
Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Just another example of the Connor Sport drivers antagonizing each other. Yeah, but you've got to look at Ackerman as well. He's the one that can sort the situation out so far that he's letting them run wild. His job is to keep control. And no matter what the season, no matter what the driver, Connor Sport just can't seem to gel as a team. So you've got to ask the question really, what will it take? Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way onto the podium now. Ali, this is your first ever F1 race at Silverstone in front of the home fans. So just try to put into words what that means to you. Yeah, I mean, just to see the number of fans cheering for me really spurred me on today. And I used to come here as a little girl to watch the races, so it really means everything. It's a dream come true, to be honest. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it was tight out there once again between you and Aiden. You're not giving each other much space, are you? <laughs> Look, Aiden's got to drive as he sees fit. 
and he feels the need to put his performance first, and that's his call. It's not like it's the first time we've seen a driver prioritise themselves ahead of the team, is it? <laughs> now, naturally, there has been a lot of speculation about the role of your father, Davidoff Butler, in securing your seat at Connor Sport. Just what do you say to the critics? OK, <laughs> well, um, look at Gasly, Leclerc, Russell, and now everyone's suddenly surprised that F1 team signed an F2 champion. I'm here because I can drive. People need to get a grip. That's great, thank you. Hey, Mum. Callie. You saw the interview? Would you like some loving parental advice? Not really. Yeah. All this stuff about your father, I and mean, you do know there's an element of truth to what they're saying. Like it or not, you've got to acknowledge it. I don't have to acknowledge anything. You can't make it go away by ignoring it, Cal. People will say all manner of nonsense if you don't accept it. She's privileged, they'll say. She's out of touch. I don't care what they say about me. Of course you do. You're only human. I'm just here to drive. If only it were that simple, darling. Yeah. Uh, look, I've, I've got stuff to do, OK? Think about it anyway. Lots of love. Oh, my God.